Well, it's a great view from here. You can see the Otera Viaduct and it's the main route through to the west coast. Carolyn, it's a good example of some of the services that come through mm. right where basically the Alpine Fault is. So it's going to be vulnerable to earthquakes. That's right, yeah. This is one of the four ways that we can get to the west coast from the east coast. And there are three other mountain passes. All of them pass through places like this with high mountains all around. And so they are very vulnerable to, uh, to shaking from a big earthquake on the Alpine Fault. So this road is not only a highway through to the west coast, but it's also a rail link. And it's also where the electricity network comes through as well. And so you can see a big pylon down behind us, down behind the, the viaduct there. And so when we have a future Alpine Fold earthquake, it's highly likely that landslides are gonna come down and, and cross the road, not just here uh, at the viaduct, but right along Arthur's Pass. And so this is one of the places that we, we know will be quite disrupted following a big earthquake. So the forces that shape this land make for stunning scenery, but they also cause us a few problems. Mm. But uh, this viaduct, it's pretty recent. Mm. It's been designed to try and withstand some of the shaking that would happen when the Alpine Fault ruptures? That's right, yeah, this viaduct's been built a sort of state of the art really to, to try and withstand, withstand the shaking from the Alpine Fault earthquake. Um, so yeah, it's, it's got very deep piles down below it and it would move and, and sway with, with the earthquake shaking, which is exactly what you need it to do. And then just down below there, there's another really cool piece of engineering that will protect the road from, from material sliding down off the hills. So you can see around us here all these scree slopes. The rocks here are very loose. Geologists call the rocks wheat bicks because that's the sort of, uh, that's the way they kind of break and, and break into pieces and fall down the hill like this. And so the engineering along this road is really quite spectacular and it will protect the road from, from rockfall and things but during a big earthquake, as I said before, it's going to be many parts of the road up and down the Arthur's Pass Road that are going to be affected by landslides. Yeah. So this part of the highway may not be damaged but likely other parts will be and there's likely to be a lot of aftershocks so it's not just the initial earthquake that we need to be aware of. That's right, yeah. Whenever we have a big earthquake a whole lot of aftershocks will follow and some of them will be quite big as well. So we have to be really aware that coming in, a, in here to fix the road and to fix the electricity lines is going to be quite hazardous for, for quite a few months after a big earthquake. And so aftershocks are something we have to be worried about as well. Yeah, so the people in this area need to think about it long term, not just that initial earthquake. Hey, thanks Carolyn. <laughs> Thank you.